I was a carpenter, you know, as well as a fireman. Mm -hmm. uh, and then between the shoulder injuries, of course, my right hand mm -hmm. swinging a hammer, my, I made my living as a master carpenter because the city didn't pay us enough. Right. So everybody has a second job. Right. You're not supposed or to. third, right. Um, so after that, that took part of it away. Then having the issue with my lungs. Mm -hmm. So now between taking medications for my shoulder, mm -hmm. going to everybody, getting all kinds of opinions, now you're getting sick with your lungs. <clears throat> I have bronchitis 10 times a year where a doctor says, uh, you have to leave New York. What are you talking about? You're only gonna get worse, you know, if you don't leave. Now, how do you just pick up and leave? You can't. And then after getting that under control, then I started with my back. And I had a point in my life where I related to the back where they thought I had lymphoma. So I went and had a bone marrow test, came back, and they said I possibly could have low-grade lymphoma, which is untreatable, it can go on. Um, now this all stems from 9-11. Um, and then my back started not long after that, and I dealt with it for two years. Now a guy that wants to do everything and, mm -hmm. you know, I was doing nothing. And within six months, they said there was a tumor on my spine. So that was the end. That was the last straw. I did the surgery. I did everything. I went to all the rehab, personal trainer, and never got to where I had to go get to. I didn't understand why. And you know what? Waking up every morning, like you said, having an elephant on your back, that's exactly how I was. Re-injured it this past year, falling on the ice and went back to the doctors and then all of a sudden my son mentioned you and and i was like yeah you know what is it what it has to do he showed me your video and i was like are you kidding me this is this not real <laughs> this is not real. not real um i love hearing that. so my son comes home one day and says, listen, I spoke to Jimmy. I told him, you know, you re-injured, you went to the doctor. They want you to go for shots again. Um, he told me to tell you don't do anything until you see him. And here it is like May and June, I'm on the couch and I'm back to where I was. I don't want to get up, I don't want to do anything and I get a phone call out of the blue and it's you. Within one minute of that conversation, my whole outlook on life changed. And I never return phone calls, P.S. I, I just don't call people, but sometimes... No, and you know what? It was the, within the first minute, I felt my life changed. I got a perspective. You told me, do not go back to that doctor. Do not get the injections. If you can suffer and withhold the pain till I see you, do it. And this is the first time that I, I was like, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna listen to any of these guys. So the minute talking to you actually changed my whole outlook on getting well, getting better, and actually saying that maybe I'm gonna get my life back. Mm -hmm. So on that, I suffered through everything I finally got to see you, and two minutes into the office in the first visit, it was like, there's only, I would say, one time in life that you meet a person, besides like your father or your son, someone in your life that actually makes a difference or looks at you as, you know what, you are special, and I'm here to do it. And the minute I walked in, that I think some people never get that in life. And thanks for my son. And he turned around and introduced me to you. And the two minutes in this room talking to you, actually, it changed my life. 
because I thought I was going to go nowhere. I've tried everything, I've done everything, and I told people, and people don't understand. They're like, why are you talking about this guy so much? What is so special? He changed my life within two minutes. He did it one minute on the phone and two minutes in this room. And for someone to call me and to make, to make an effort to me, so you don't even know me. Right. You don't know me. So who am I to you? But, uh, you know what? And, and I, that's I, why I'm emotional right now because uh, so many people uh, don't understand how I suffer in, in a lot of what I do with 11 hours, 12 hours a day to, to hear stories like, like yours that uh, I'm not upset. Uh, it makes me really angry that people are suffering for no reason. And uh, for someone to, to, just like you, it's just return respect because for you to, to treat me the way you do when, I'm, when, when I got people snubbing me uh, left and right and, and uh, you, you don't understand. It doesn't matter who's on my table. Everyone's special and when, when, when someone, someone like you just needs a little bit of light in his life, all of a sudden I'm like, dude, I can change your life. And a side note, I don't always tell people to stop their shots. I don't always tell people to stop seeing their doctor. This was a very special case, so don't think that your doctor's most important. But unfortunately, when you keep throwing darts at the wrong board, something has to give, right? When it's a muscle issue, when it's when it's an issue like that. So what? How? So explain the first treatment, because uh, well, the uh, first treatment, I, um, the first treatment I came in, which uh, I happened to just have an hour with you, yeah. and here you are. Never met me, never we spoke on the phone. You try to put a year's worth of work into a one hour session. Yeah. And I tried like a <laughs> uh, and you did. But just getting on on the table and coming in this room and that you explaining everything to me opened open my eyes again about life. Um, we discuss personal things and I just met you and you gave me life stories, I gave you life stories. And in that one hour, you literally tried to change my life and you did. And like I said, in your lifetime, you might meet one person that totally turns your life around and you don't even know it. And you're the one person that actually turned my life around. Because it's not physically, it's mentally. Oh, yeah. Because if you get up in the morning and you can't walk, or you can't do something and you're in pain, what do you do the rest of that day? You, you fight? You, you, and that's all I do is fight. And there, there, were no, there wasn't any answers. There were no solutions, there were no answers. I've been there. And then all of a sudden, everything opened up. And I've been nonstop talking about the, you, not only for what you do, but for the person that you are. And people can't, I guess you can't understand it unless you, unless you meet, meet you and realize what, a, what kind of a person you are. That you're not coming in here just okay, then you're leaving. You, when you come in, you, you, I feel I met someone in my life that, you know what, a lot of people are never going to experience again. I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of people in my life as family and best friends in the fire department. Okay? Everybody that I worked with before I left that house to take care of my father who had cancer and they're all gone. And these are guys that stuck by my side. And you know what? It leaves a hole in your heart right. for the rest of your life. Right. And it leaves guilt. Right. Which you should never do. And been, I've been carrying around forever. And injury upon injury. And what did I do? What, you know? I just, I, I don't, I, 
You can't explain what this gentleman is unless you see him. In a phone call, he changed my life. A phone call, I didn't even meet him. Then to it coming to it the first time, he tried to do something that people have been trying to do for 10 years for me. But guess what? There was no passion behind it. There was no, let me get to know this person, let me know everything. And that's one thing you did. You got to know me within the few minutes and then you've just been dedicated for the fa past few months to me. And yeah. if people don't meet you, guess what? They, they, they've they lost in life. <laughs> if you haven't touched them, then guess what? They haven't experienced life and they haven't found that one person that makes a difference in their life. The only, the only thing I give is everything. You know, and, and uh, as much as I want to feel good about, about hearing this, and I do, it makes me feel so good. And, and this is why I want people to hear your story because a lot of people don't understand you can make very quick changes if you stop staring at that dead wall. If you, if you put out there for the hope and what you're looking for will come back. And you don't understand what I get when what, what I do and, and what I get from assisting you. It pulls me out of my own. Yeah, I, I don't want to say I've been living in depression my entire life, but I'm, I'm built in a certain way that I, that within me, I have to change people's lives. It makes me happy. It satisfies me. And when someone like yourself uh, should have that level of thinking, a lot of times all you have to do is take a step out, look you straight in the eyes and just say, let's be real. And, and I don't know why more people aren't like that. It's, it's a shame, but, but it's not about just the body work. You're right. When, when someone steps foot in my office, I want to prepare you for every emotional, every mental, every, every tool you can possibly have. So whether I'm here or not, you take a piece of me with you and you carry it forever. And if being able for you to accept my love, and take it and run with it and that's all as a healer or as a, a therapist um someone could ask for i get you know people tell me oh you charge too much oh this they're professional athletes that don't even know what i do and people tell me oh jimmy does what i do man you know get what on my table first before you ever say you do anything remotely close to jimmy bluff there's and, only one of me and 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 it's not about money you know what it's about the person and like, like you said, you, you, you're depressed, you, got, you know what, you, you come in and you Show make up. somebody feel that there is, there is life again. There's no such thing as depression, it's a state of mind and it's living with a purpose and getting your ass out of bed to tackle that purpose. And my purpose is to change lives and, and uh, I was so fortunate that when someone throws a big challenge and, and I could feel the love uh, of your son and, and his concern for you, and I think he gave you his session. The first yes. time, he, his son gave up his session for his dad. And, uh, and when someone like you, who is so deserving, and, and to my eyes, such a hero with 9-11, I was uh, in massage therapy school the second week watching planes go into buildings. So that's uh, no, the reason why uh, I'm so full of emotion, because... 13 years ago and, and 50,000 hours of all oh, businesses and friends and, and people just manipulating you and, and people, no idea what I've been through. I vowed to change something. Meanwhile, he was saving lives and, and he's been suffering on the opposite side ever since. I've been suffering for success because I was willing to die to change the world somehow and I was willing to, to, to do anything necessary to attach and attack my dreams and make those things happen and, and what was so special about this is 13 years later you walked into my life you were at 9-11 I came up with this crazy technique that no one's ever felt or heard of and at that point in time it was just perfect it was just perfect uh, yeah. 13 years and we you're just supposed to meet someone and again I'm, I'm typically not an emotional person uh, well, you would, couldn't you tell from what love, you write. When you, can, when you can experience this, if you've ever thought of going into body work, if you've ever thought of uh, going into energy work, man, you have no idea what you're prepared to, to dig into because you take 
part of someone emotionally with you. And, and when you give this shit, people are like, oh, you got to protect your energy. I'm going to open my heart. No. Because it, sometimes that's all someone needs to be healed forever. Uh, yes. Like, uh, like you're a giver. That's all I've been my whole life was a giver. And it's some, weird when it and, and, to give back, right? And then I say, uh, you know what? And is it bad to say when is someone or something or going to give back to me? You know? Right. Okay, I've been doing it for so long, giving, giving. Right. I'm suffering. Right. I'm not getting anything back. Right. But and then all of a sudden you meet a person like you. And you know what? And you say... One person cares about me, cares whether I'm going to get out of bed tomorrow and walk or I'm going to go and do things that I haven't done for 13 years or whatever, then your life has changed. And the day I walked in this door the first time, my life was changed because you were all about giving to me. And you know what? It's not, uh, I, re I, I can't put it into words, but it's something that you, you feel. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, it has changed my life. And you know what? I'll never be the same person again because of you. That's because so I, the, you gave me a light at the end of that tunnel. And it wasn't just your hands. It was the whole entire talk while you were working on me about life, about yourself, and what you're about. And to walk out of here, and then someone that has thousands of people that, you, that see you, to get a text from you. Hey bro, are you all right? How you feeling? And this is one session with you, and I never met you mm -hmm. before that. It literally, it's li it is life, it is life changing. And you've made my life unbelievable and I one time that you meet that person in your life and I'm special enough to have met I've met you and you changed you were special it. along you just needed to know it uh, again. and this is the stuff that people don't see 11 hours a day this is why I do this right here John firefighter 9-11 Jimmy Bluff, the best you can get. Thanks, Man, bro. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Honestly, bro. Long friendship. Without a doubt.